Okay, this is Stephen here, not just cables again. Um, this is just a continuation of the Freenas Jails and Virtual Machine um, setup. So this is XP running within a virtual box um, using VNC to connect still. Um, so what I've done now is basically I've just enabled remote access to the um, system, put a password on my default user which I just called Fred. Um, what else have we done here? Uh, local network connection, we've opened up the settings for that. At the moment it's on a, a strange range which has been issued by the um, virtual machine software itself. Uh, also I changed the screen resolution um, slightly just so I can see it a little bit better. Um, so I just put it on 1024 by 768 it's a little bit better than the 800 by 600 um, now I don't know if anyone knows um, VNC just how to get the mouse pointers to line up I haven't really mucked around with it very much but it always frustrates me when you've got to try and move the mouse pointer to the correct spot I'm assuming there's a, a way to actually do that to lock the mouse to that or something I haven't actually used uh, VNC very much for this particular purpose um, but anyway if anyone knows on that just um, chuck a comment in below and I'll um, uh, reply back to you later okay so that's pretty much it so at this stage all we need to be able to do to connect onto it to be able to use this XP machine as normal um, yeah it's just getting an IP address in the range that we need so to do that we need to go out of here go back into the um, Freenas virtual machine or virtual box um, click on XP click settings go network adapters um, and change it I found the easiest one is just to use the bridged and change this to allow all um, and just go OK and then hopefully we should be all good it's coming up in here saying it's unplugged um, if we go back into that It's still assigned by DHCP. Uh, it's still on a strange range. I might have to have a look into that in a second. Um, I'll pause the video for now. I'll work that out, and I'll let you know in a minute uh, what I did to resolve it. But hold on a second. Actually, I didn't do anything to resolve it. It um, came right by itself. It took just took a few minutes to um, to do its thing. So at this stage I've got an IP address of 192.168.1.28 um, which is on my network. So what I've done um, is I've brought up a remote desktop connection. If you don't know how to do that or to find that it's just um, go to the start, um, click on start, the run box and just type MSTSC or you can search for remote desktop in the search thing on Windows 7 at the bottom it's um, not too hard to find um, so what we need to do now is just put in that IP address and we should be able to connect to the Windows XP system all going well um, let's actually put it on the other screen so just bear with me a second while I'm there so we've got XP and my username was Fred my highly secure password was just also Fred uh, all going well there you go so it's logged on so um, as you can see using this software can actually be very useful um, so you, I mean you could set up a whole network environment within this and now I have just normal access to um, this XP system uh, in theory it should be able to see the internet now uh, being that it's on my uh, network not that this browser is very well supported anymore um, being XP um, yeah so I mean you can set up Linux um, server environment you can set up a whole little network within here so it is actually um, quite a good solution uh, especially if you if you're already using uh, FreeNAS on your network or you want to use FreeNAS for your generic file stores and, and so on um, what's the point in having say local virtual machine software I mean I like I said previously I've used VMware uh, I've got what else have I got down here I've got Oracle virtual machine um, down here 
um, virtual uh, Windows XP that's like um, the Windows 7 version of uh, virtual machine for running XP within Windows 7 when they first brought it out. I'm not sure if that's actually uh, still supported on X uh, sorry, Windows 7 and that now. Uh, they might have uh, got rid of that, I'm not sure. I haven't really kept up with that. Um, but yeah, I've got VMware installed, I've got um, VMware Player installed, I, 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 yeah, I've mucked around with plenty. Um, so yeah, so instead of you know using your main desktop machine to run your virtual machines, you could actually just um, run it on your FreeNAS box, free up a bit of uh, resource on your main machine, use whatever you like to promote onto them, and uh, all good. Good for a um, test environment, um, yeah, just whatever. Okay, thanks for watching. That's the first few videos in this. Uh, probably a little bit long-winded, uh, a few glitches along the way, but. It's probably better just leaving it like that, so you can see um, I didn't put any. Uh, what would you say? I didn't really put any research into this before doing this video. I've just done it on the fly rather than um, you know making sure it's a total error-proof video. I should say. Um, so I've just recorded it so you can just sort of see how easy it is to actually set up. It does have a few little teething problems along the way if you're not familiar with it and stuff, but um, it's, yeah, it's not too bad to do. All right, I'll um, leave you to it for now. I might do some more videos at some point. Um, not sure when. I'm hoping to do some more videos and just sort of cover off some more aspects of this and various other things that I've been working on over the last few years. Um, yeah, so if there's anything specific to do with FreeNAS that you want to know about, just um, put a comment below and um, yeah. Cheers.